Alright, this is the basement area of the ancient cistern temple for Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm Dan from wikigameguys.com. So, we've got these zombie dudes who you can only kill them with uh, finishing blows. So, do a spin and then uh, stab them to kill them. Uh, you can't kill them through just normal sword fighting moves. So, uh, just kill the ones that are in your way. You don't really need to kill all of them unless you want to. Then head on over here. Uh, that purple lake, uh, it's like poison. Basically, if you get poisoned, you can't use your sword or any of your items. So you're just, you just have to run around, avoiding enemies until it wears off. So come over here, <clears throat> and you'll see uh, above this waterfall is a skull with eyes. You need to send your hook beetle through the eye, and there's a switch back there to stop the waterfall. And uh, now you go back behind the waterfall. Um, oh, so I fell in. Now I can't use my sword or my items. So I probably should not have ran over to these bats. That was a bad idea. <laughs> run, run, run. Okay, we're off. And you'll see some butterflies. Uh, there's a one of those walls that you can summon with your harp and then, you know, get extra hearts or bombs or whatever. But I'm pretty well stocked up, so just fly a bomb over to this platform that's got a big boulder blocking your way. And now you can continue on. And right here is a nice little branch that you can whip on and land yourself on that platform that you just cleared off. Make sure you're lined up right. All the way around on this second one. And then up here, you want to switch the direction of that big turny thing. And you actually have to like flick your Wiimote the direction that you want the lever to go. So if it's not going, it's because you're not flicking it the right direction. And once you switch it, just ride it over to this side. And then hop on this next spinny thing. Ride it all the way around. And when you... <clears throat> When you switch the direction of that uh, spinning platform, it also switches the directions of all the other things that are spinning. So now you need to switch it back, now that you're on this side. So that sp switches the direction of this thing as well. So hop back on this and ride it all the way around to the other side. Okay, so well, you'll be climbing that string, but first I'm just gonna pull the spigot open 
and that makes a nice little uh, way to get back up here. And then just climb this rope. Uh, there's going to be some dudes chasing you, but if you just shake the crap out of your Wiimotes, you'll knock them off. Get off me. Get off. Alright. Oh my god, there's his hands. So, climb out. Now, do not jump down. Don't jump down. Pull this lever before you jump down. It's, yeah. My first time I just jumped down, and that was a big mistake. I had to go all the way back through the basement. So, uh, once you pull that, then you can reach this switch, raise the statue back up, uh, because it was sitting on top of that chest that has the boss key. So now that it's back up, go ahead and jump back down this hole. And now you can go and get the boss key. Oh boy, 20 of them. 20 amber relics. So, head back this way. And, now that the statue's raised, you can access this chest. And get your boss key. The Blessed Idol. So pretty. So, just run past all these dudes. No need to fight them. Hop up, and they will all be crushed. Okay, so now, head in the statue, now that you've got the boss key. And you just want to make your way to the top. If you haven't already, you can open up these spigots, uh, which will provide you access to the top level. So just line up the key with the flower side facing the camera. Slide that bad boy in there. There is a save point before you fight the boss. So <clears throat> uh, you will get a chance to save. This doesn't go straight to the boss. You still have to open four more spigots then you can save get some hearts if you're not already full and the next video will be fighting the boss <laughs> <laughs>